great. This is in collaboration with Dragons and Dresses Craftsortium, the 2024 Gory collaboration. Ooh, ha ha ha. Hi everybody, it's Carla, and I'm back again, and I'm gonna do a Halloween project, and this may be for uh, Dragons and Dresses gory Halloween thing this week, or this may be cute, I don't know, I'll do something really gory if this isn't gory enough, maybe. Huh. Anyway, here's what we're doing. I bought this picture from, let me move my resin out of the way so I don't spill uh, almost eight ounces of resin. I bought this picture. Didn't come like this. I It was like a picture that you hang and I got it from Timu. And what I did was I cut around it. I burned around it a little bit. I splashed some red paint on it. I made her dress pink, her gloves pink, her thing green. Um, put up here the reward missing gerbits, because these are girl rabbits. So they're gerbits. Last seen the 31st day of October. Did I spell it right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So these girls are missing. These gerbits are missing. Or girl bits. Ugh, that's good stuff. So what I'm going to do. And I have this be in, there's a silicone tray mold in here. I got it in here because I don't know. Um, I don't think that this entire place I'm in right now is level. <laughs> so if it's not, then it'll catch the extra. Mm -hmm. So I put holes in it. I just tore it up. I went, oh, it doesn't matter. I think I paid $2 for it. And, um, been wanting to like hang it up but then I thought I'll just do this so I've got some sticks here I've got this little pumpkin that I cut off of something that I got the wrapper from Dollar Tree I've got some old book pages and some of them are burned and some of them have bloody fingerprints on them so I'm gonna start out doing <sighs> I hope everybody's okay. I am... Okay, yeah, that's just resin. I'm just going to add in my Naked Fusion, Low Viscosity, and the mold is not perfectly clean. It doesn't matter. I'm doing this bottom up. No. The What's usually the bottom is going to be my top. I'm reversing it. So... Instead of trying to put everything in upside down at this point, I am, wow, that took the whole seven plus ounces. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna do everything coming forward because I thought this might be a little harder for me to, like when I do my other trays, I usually do them so that um, they're face down. But this one, I think it's going to be easier for me to do it. Especially because my brain just feels like, I don't know, like couscous or something. <laughs> it's, like, it's got holes in it and everything else. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just going to give this a little tilt. Get it spread out around. Yeah, that's seven whole ounces. Holy moly. Uh, okay. Oh, okie dokie. Man, this just doesn't look straight. That's okay. We're not going to stress about it. Not going to worry about it. I'm going to start off by putting in uh, some of my, my paper. And I'm not going to stress about it too much. I'm probably going to put some glitter in here, Ooh, too. So I'm going to just start by putting the papers like around the edges. And I don't know. You'll see. You'll see. There's not a whole lot of thought that goes into this part. It's just literally, let's just put pieces of paper everywhere. And uh, 
on top of each other. And um, I did put a couple of pieces in here too. Might have to put a lot. I don't know. Uh, you, you know, this is a, a, I've put paper in trays before. It comes out looking pretty darn cool. Um, this exact paper too. So let me kind of push this down in here. So if I, so that way, if I put more paper on top, um, it's going to have resin between the layers. That red color is the, the dye that comes with um, the eco resins, you know, those little bottles like this. I put a little bit of red and a little bit of black to make blood. And I'm surprised that it kind of like really works. That looks like blood. That looks like my blood anyway. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of my blood lately. <sighs> Guess what? I I feel better. Um, I'm still contagious. <laughs> I got my blood work back and um, my Epstein counts, my mono counts, they're going down. But it's still like, it's supposed to be 37. That's the high average. The high, the high end should be 37 on this one marker. And mine's like 300. Another one's like it should be 30 and it's 200 and something. So yeah, I'm still contagious. I'm still, my body is still dealing with it. I do feel better overall, especially because today I had my court uh, for my disability. I don't know if I, I'm going to get it. Um, you know, they don't, they didn't tell me. They're going to let me know. Uh, but you know what? I have been so stressed out about the court date coming up and, you know, not feeling good and having to move and, I don't know, you know, so much boo-hoo-hoo going on. So, anyway, I'm getting better. I'm still living in the temporary place. Every day I'm holding my breath that the city doesn't come and say, get out. So I'm, I'm a, a little bit packed. Uh, it's really hard because, really hard because I just don't feel good. I don't feel like I can go over to the place that I left and get the rest of my stuff out of there. There's some stuff I really want. I'm And there's some stuff I'm just gonna go, oh, whatever. Um, yeah, but I've been so stressed. I haven't been sleeping and that's why I haven't been on here doing a video because I've just absolutely like been having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> nervous breakdown number 35. Number 35, your number is up. Number 35 still here. <laughs> oh, yes, we're having a deli breakdown. Take a deli number. Have a breakdown. Yeah, it's pretty stressful. But I got the worst part of it over, unless we end up having to take it to Superior Court. <sighs> which, you know, at which point do you just go, well, I'll just find a rock to go live under somewhere that I can afford and, you know, give up on that trying to get the rest of my retirement just make do just make do do just make do do <laughs> oh, oh no oh, am I I'm in the mood for fart jokes <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I do feel better. Um, it's like 11.30 right now. But um, 
I took a nap today right after the court thing was over. I just had a little bite of something to eat. Put my pajamas back on. Pulled all the curtains shut. Shut the front door. <laughs> turned off my phone. And I went to sleep. For like two hours. It was marvelous. Yeah. So. Okay. I don't know why I'm being peculiar about doing this. It should just be just do it any old way. Oh, do you see that one right there? It has that little um, star on it. A star. It's a leaf. It has a leaf on it. And that's from some rub-ons that I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, let's get some of this bloody paper on here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I kind of might have ruined my picture um, putting on the the, the gerbits. <laughs> I think it's funny. Um, but I put missing because I was just going to do it like, you know, like they would in the 40s. Um, <laughs> the 1940s. You know, people would have just country people dressed like rabbits. Probably would have spelled, wouldn't have even said missing. They would have said they're missing. Because that's how my mother's people from Oklahoma uh, would talk, except for my grandma, because she was like, my, gra my gra mother's mother had a college degree, and she was born 1900, probably like 1910. Girls just didn't get college degrees then, but she had a degree in biology. She was really good in sciences. But she was also um, paranoid, of course. I think that was because of a man. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> She's gone. But, um, uh, some of the people in my family probably would be like, you aren't supposed to be telling people that we have lunatics in our family. <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, but they know I'm part of the family, so I'll be asleep. Lunaticy runs in the branches of the family tree. <laughs> we got a whole branch of lunacy. I'm not a lunatic. I'm just a little weird. Happily. Pleasantly, joyfully weird. Okay, I've got this leaf on on this page. See that? Isn't that cute? It's like glittery. So I'm gonna. Oops! I just tore it in half. Okay, that's fine. Nothing really matters. Yep, this tray is definitely not level. Get over there. Get back over there. I'm gonna have to. I hope you can hear me because I know that I'm kind of mumbling. So let me just put this little stick under here. Try to get um, some of this resin to go to this side. Okay, here this is. I'm going to put this over here. And then I'll put this one like right there by the blood, but a little under it. Should burn some more. I like the way that looks. <laughs> You're probably like, don't let her play with fire. <laughs> yeah, I probably should be careful because I might have a little bit of resin on my gloves. But I'll just do a little bit. And I don't want to catch resin on fire, so I'll let that sit for a minute. Yeah, I was just sitting here thinking, yeah, you've got resin on your gloves. Don't do this at home. Okay. This little thing right here is so cool because it says a reporter from the something, parents in the corridor outside, 
judge somebody's office, Jesse, for a comment while her father talked to, uh, took a step back, hoping she'd be left alone. It's like a little story kind of matches my missing, my missing girls. So I'm going to wait to put that in there. Okay. I'll put you in here by the, uh, yeah. All right, I have some wrinkly paper too. I'm gonna stick in here. And probably this is about all I'm gonna do right here. Um, I'm not gonna burn any more paper because I really, I think that's really a dumb idea when you've got gloves on that have a little bit of resin on them. <laughs> It'd be great for ratings, you know. Like, look at the girl who set her gloves on fire. Do what we tell you, not what she does. I'm not a girl. Well, I am a girl. I was born a girl. I was born a girl, but I guess you change, morph. I morphed. So sad. So sad. Anyway. I'm going to put in a little bit more paper up here. Um, I'm going to try to curve it a little bit. Because I know I need some more at the top. And... Just a couple little pieces I'm just going to stick in here now. A little extra, extra. That's way too high. All right, let's try just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. And maybe tomorrow I'll go over to that other place and I'll get my um, leveling thingy because it's by my refrigerator i know exactly where it is but i'm not going over there at night to get it I'm not gonna do that all right i'm gonna push the resin out i might have to make more resin to get uh some resin on this because i kind of want to make it sure that it's going to stay flat. I burned this, I tore it, I cut it. I went absolutely bananas with it. And um, just kept telling myself, it doesn't matter. It's only resin. It's only a $3 picture. I can always get another one. I can even get a bigger one. You know, if I really, really want to. Ooh, this is interesting. The picture is going to get a little dark, I see. I see. That's okay. It's Halloween. Dark is in. All right. Yeah, if I get some of this on the outside here, uh, on the top. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. Oh, all my little pictures. No, they didn't. Talking to myself. Still don't know where everything is. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what to say. Bought some pink containers to put all my craft stuff in because as long as I have my crafting items, I'm happy. That's good, 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 good. So if the city does come and they're like, okay, you got to get out, like, like now, I've put all of my um, crafting stuff, almost all of it, in these pink containers so that I know where they are. I have... They're regular size big containers. 
and I have five of them and I might need more because I haven't even packed up my polymer clay or any of my watercolors or pencils, nothing like that. And none of that's packed and um, I have a lot of stuff. That's all I really care about is having my art stuff. <laughs> it's just stuck into my finger. Okay, let me just put a couple little pieces up here. Turn them around. Probably going to put some more stuff on here too, but um, I'll turn this a little bit so I can see what's going on. But I still would like to have at least most of this covered. Uh, you stay there for a second. Put you in there. Bring you back up here. Okay. There's my little one weird story. I want to keep that. You can see it where I can see it because I'll know it's there. I'll know there's a little weird article. And it's not about this even, but it is about some kind of judge murder thing story. It kind of fits. Not saying these young ladies, young rabbit ladies, were murdered. It's just saying that you never know. You never know. Okay, I think I have the basics on here. I am going to put that pumpkin on here too, just because it works for me, I think. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Wah -wah. I am back. And I don't like this. <laughs> I, uh... I had tried to put some glitter around it and it looked yuck. So I put some more paper around it. That's why you see the kind of dry edges sticking up in places. And I am going to be putting these little sticks. I, I was going to do it like this, but it looked really stupid. Take my word for it. It looked boo, boo, bad. So I am going to uh, apologize in case the traffic yeah let me try to push my door shut a little bit see if we can muffle it it is 5 40 and it's a thursday afternoon and uh, people will be driving home from work on the freeway which is my next door neighbor so, I think that's okay. I think the lights are still good. And there we go. So, these little sticks are not stuck in there yet. And I'm putting in these little eyes to be peeking out from under the sticks. These sticks right here are already glued in. So, then I just thought, okay, well, I'm going to pull these sticks down into this. I've already mixed up my resin. I've gone in and I've done like these little blood and body flesh parts. This is not gory. This is kind of silly. So, but I think this is going to have to be my gore. <laughs> That's why I put in like the little splatters of blood and pieces of little brain and um, splattered some blood on it. I don't like this part at all. I wish I had only just written missing, period. That's it. No gerbits, no three gerbits, no seen the last day of October. None of that stuff. I just don't like it. It should have said missing or it should have said reward, period. But what am I going to do? I already did it. And, um, um, yeah, so in order to try and save it, I have the idea, idea, <laughs> I have an idea 
I think I'm gonna put the some flowers like this one right here on here. Now this will really take it out of the gore category, won't it? <laughs> yes, it will. Unless I kind of leave some of it showing. I'm gonna go slowly with this. Now I do have my resin already mixed up, but I just wanna kinda get an idea here. If I put in these flowers, they're kind of the right colors for, for fall, right? Correct. The mondo. Okay, and that's why I, I don't know though. That's why I was going to kind of like maybe missing is okay and reward is kind of okay. Uh, Something like that, where they're, you kind of see what's going on here. I wonder if I should cut that flower in half. I don't know. I'm very confused. Uh, let's see. Put this one over here. This one here. Okay, and then maybe, um, maybe like, oh yeah, I think this will work. This is a bougainvillea that I picked out of my son and daughter-in-law's yard. <laughs> my son saw me doing it and he's like, stop! That plant is suffering. Don't pick its flowers. And I was like, no, it'll be happy. He's like, stop. Uh, they have a nice house. But they also have a really pretty bougainvillea plant right by the driveway. And I just love the way that the color on the bougainvillea uh, just stays kind of intensely beautiful. I don't know, maybe something like that. You can kind of see the words reward. Maybe that's not right. All right, well, I'll fart around with that after I get the resin in. Okay, so no more farting around, no more farting around. Let's get this party on the road. Let me get this resin poured, and then I'll see if I can save this. <sighs> oh, I did put in like a little rest in peace sticker, which I think is kind of stupid, <laughs> but and uh, yeah, the little blood splotches and um, my little eyeballs hiding in the woods. So here we go. I'm just going to pour this in. I'm using the low viscosity. My favorite, favorite thing. I've mixed up eight ounces, which is not even going to be enough to finish this. I'll need another eight. So this is um, about a 24 ounce project. Price of resin makes that scary. There's the horror factor. <laughs> the horror factor is I use 24 ounces of resin. <laughs> and I like it, but I don't love it. Not yet. But you know, that's how things are. Sometimes you're making stuff and you're just like, oh, I should just throw this away. Just start over. And, uh, when you're done, you're like, oh, God, that came out cute. All right, so now I am going to move these little things back into place, these little cuckoo eyes. Let's get them in here. Move down here a little bit more. All of a sudden, it just feels dark in here. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to play with those for a while. I can see that. Put these little boards back in here. So I want it to be like they're hiding. These eyes are looking out between the boards. Because it's kind of as well. And I want these little red bits of flower in there. And there's a little bit of leaf. Put that anywhere, it doesn't matter. A little bit of red right there. 
not necessarily going to look like flower, but it's going to have a little red look. Okay, eyeballs, don't float away. Yeah, I'm going to have to really, really babysit those. Okay. So those are okay. That's all right. Now I'm going to put in. Oh, okay, let's see. Messy, messy. All right. Uh, I'm going to put it, this little flower, right here. Right there. And this big old flower, maybe like right there, kind of covering the weird, weird, weird words up, kind of, mostly, sort of, okay, oh uh, golly. Boy, you can tell the fall is here. Oh, I love these cool nights. Oh, if only I could sleep. <laughs> I enjoy myself laying there just like, oh, I feel so nice, but I just can't sleep. Got too much on my mind. I can't wait. I must wait, but I don't want to wait to find out about my disability. Not that it will be a huge change, but it will be a big enough change that I will have um, kind of what I, I will be able to afford an apartment. It'll be just enough extra money uh, that I can I can pay off the $3,000 because I owe 3000 on my car, but it's $250 a month that I'm paying on that. So if I can pay off that car, it's two fifty, dollars and um, I'm close, you know, to having it paid off. So if I get the disability, if I get a little bit of back pay, I want to pay off my car. And then it'll make it so much easier for me to be able to oh, just be able to have an apartment or, you know, my own little place. Uh, cheap, I don't care. Fancy, doesn't matter. Just a place that I can do art and have my cats and do my videos. See, I'm, I'm worried if I get a roommate, they'd be like real loud or else they'd be upset that I am talking loud. <laughs> Ugh, I always worry about everything. I just don't know what to do. Now I know what I need to do. I need, I need a little more money. Um, Probably should, I think I should do a video for everybody that is like starting a YouTube channel thinking that I get like, cause I thought I was going to get like a hundred dollars a month. I thought, oh my God, a hundred dollars a month. That's life changing. <laughs> I am going to be getting my very first payment. And now I got monetized in May. I'm going to be getting my very first payment this month. And this is September. It's $140 and um, 30 of that is uh, like money that somebody gave me to help me move. I can't remember who, who it was right now. I'm sorry. I can't remember my phone number. So please don't, don't be mad. Um, yeah. So since I've been monetized May, June, July, August, September, five months five months I am getting like $30 a month so it's not even covering my supplies but if you're if I was doing it just for the money I would be like nah no more but I love doing this because I love 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 the people that um subscribe and follow me and uh thank you all for being so patient while I'm fighting this mono Epstein Barr, boo ha ha, why me? <laughs> why me? Why me? Thing. But why not? You know, 
a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff right now. Our world's going through a lot right now. Our country, our world, the sun, so many things are changing. And, you know, change is, um, change can be challenging, but it's change is also necessary. So I just have to put on my big girl panties. Well, I don't wear any. <laughs> I don't get the point of why that why I why people wear them. But anyway, uh, TMI and the, OMG. <laughs> why did I say that? Because it's true. That's how I feel. That's how I personally feel. And I'm sure that I'm going to get some rebuttals and <laughs> some health advice. But yeah, no. Yeah, no. It's, it's all good. I try. Try wearing them. Just don't get it. Just don't like it. Always uh, feel like I'm getting squeezed. Oh, dear God. You guys love me, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay uh did you guys miss me i am still sick but i am i swear to you i am feeling better i am doing my darndest i'm looking for something right now mm -hmm. doing my darndest to get better uh to get my immune system back in shape and um, what happened to my little butterfly that I had a butterfly? Oh, that's just a weird looking flower, isn't it? Well, let me see that thing. Now that's just spooky looking. I don't know if it really goes in here to have a little bit of blue. But sure kind of cool. Let's see, I can't see it there. A little bit of blue in there. Uh, no. I like it. I think it would go somewhere, but I can't tell because there's too much reflection. Oh, look. Oh, look at all the hands. Mwah. Shadows are so cool. Look, I have one, two, two shadows for each hand. Multiverse. I'm living in a multiverse. Never mind. Okay, so I do have a little white flower. Maybe would go in there. Just a little. Oh, that's too white. Oh, too bright. Um, just a couple, maybe uh, leaves. Maybe this. Just this. Right here on the side. Over here. Yeah, it puts right there. Oh yeah, and I was gonna put a little bit of little bit of gold. I put some gold flecks in here. And um, I was thinking about putting some more, and I accidentally spilled the whole thing. Of the gold flex. <laughs> plutzy, plutzy. Okay. Um, drinking kombucha. Look how cute that can is. It's really good. It's from San Diego Company. Blueberry, blackberry. It doesn't have that, like, cabbage overtaste. <laughs> mm. But I'm trying real hard to get my <coughs> mute system back on track real hard. Ooh, okay. Now, what was I going to do? Grab. Okay. I don't even know if I can do it. Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, this was, this was full on the bottom. And now this is all on the bottom of a packing box. All the other, all the. Oh dear. Oh well. You know, stuff happens. Stuff happens. I'm just going to put little bits of gold in here. Just because I think it needs a little, a little like interest. And oh, I'm trying to think what else is new. Uh, I still have to move. I'm just staying here as long as I can. Uh, the city hasn't been back. They, this is the week they were supposed to be back. Knock on wood. Um, yeah. But I'm trying. 
I still don't have everything at the other place, you know, packed up because I can only stay over there for a few minutes before I start coughing or I get too tired, you know. Let's see. I have to keep looking in the in the um, the mirror. <laughs> the camera. The camera is right over there and there. The screen, the camera is right over my head, right next to my head. I know a long time ago I promised that I would try to do a uh, boop boop doo doop 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 video <laughs> <laughs> on um on how I do my videos. Because I know people are struggling with the camera angles, and I think this is a really good angle. People tend to like it because you're kind of getting my point of view. And this literally is a $19, um, you know, bendy arm thing, the thing that like has an elbow and then the camera swivels around all different views and you can swivel it. It's like 19 bucks. I hook it onto the shelf so that uh, it's, it can reach over real close. I'm showing you, but you can't see me. That's another thing too. I got to, I got to try to get my other camera out of the box wherever, wherever it may be. And that you guys start seeing me again, you'll still love me even if I have a broken tooth. That's just me being so silly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now I have four broken teeth. I don't know why. I asked my oncologist. I had an appointment the other day. And I said, is that a symptom of the, the chemo that I'm taking? And he's like, not that I've ever heard. So... I don't know if it's a symptom of mono, like it's eating my, destroying my teeth. I don't know. Had it for four months now, for those of you who haven't been following along with what's going on with Carla. I don't know why, I don't know why I did that. that was... Okay, never mind. I'm being silly. I'm not going to say sorry. I'm being silly. Okay. Um... <laughs> Just break out into insanity. That's okie dokie. All right. I cannot tell what's going on because today the lights are... Oh, I can't see. You look ugly. You get out of there. Thank you. All righty. Uh, maybe that's better. I will let this cure a little bit before I add any more. Um, maybe... You know, maybe add something else. I don't know what to add. You know, I had the little butterfly. Oh, there it is. This one kind of goes in here because it's like the right colors. I was thinking maybe if I put it up here by the blood or under the blood or I don't know. I kind of like how the, where I colored in the, the dress on this. It looks pretty cool, actually. So, I don't know, maybe the butterfly could be down here? Up here? It's, it's got to be facing this way. I think I will leave it alone. Honestly, leave it alone. What? Who is she? Who is she? Where, where's the glitter? <laughs> where's Carla? Where's the glitter? Where's your glitter, Carla? Oh, leaf, leaf, leaf. Get back over there. And maybe I'll just put a little leaf right there. All right. Yeah, you can't see my story anymore. All righty, I think I'm just going to let this uh, sit. I'm going to make sure my eyes stay under the log. Yes, yes, yes. Keep them close together. Okay. I'll be back. And I want to come back. I'll have mixed up another eight ounces of resin. I wonder if this is level. Okay, this way is level. Okay, so that way is level. This way is... Oh, not quite. It needs to be up a little bit more. 
Let's see. Let me try this. Might be too much, but right now I have. Um... Oh, I stuck. <laughs> Where did I put them? Oh, I put them underneath the table instead of underneath the, the thing here. So let's see if I put this. No, that's going to be way too much. Sorry, y'all. Well, gosh, you know, maybe that's going to be perfect. Let's see. We put you under there. Nope. Oh, maybe one of these bones. I made some bones out of their dry clay that I have to paint. But maybe one of these bones would be exactly what? Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. Because you notice that it's still not a lot of uh, resin going down to this side. Like these aren't even covered. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on the pause. Okie dokie. Looks like we have a project. Um, I didn't fill this all the way to the top because this took 24 ounces of resin. And it probably could have taken another six to eight. And that's a lot. Of resin that's like a quarter of a gallon oh I'm gonna start coughing <coughs> excuse me have a little drink of cold coffee okay so before I unmold this and we get to see what it looks like oh what does it look like ta-da <laughs> I want to say that this is pretty creepy looking and it is for the Dragons in Dresses Craftsordium Horror. I can't say that word. Horror. Horror. I can't do it. I've never been able to say horror. Horror. I can't. I'm trying. I'm not even trying to be funny. I can't say it. <laughs> okay, oh, that's the least of my problems. Um, <clears throat> hasn't affected my life, <laughs> so I guess it's okay. <laughs> so the recycled bits in here are the old book, literally like this old book that I draw on the pages and try not to just throw it away. And also the sticks that I picked up that were out in the sidewalk, in the sidewalk, oh my god, Carla, on the sidewalk and in the dirt, on the dirt, in the dirt, around the dirt, oh hell, I don't know, my brain is like, if my words don't match the pictures in my head, my brain just starts doing, oh, what are you talking about, I don't know, so, and the addition of that red, this this little stuff right here, this worked out great for blood. This And this is like if you've gotten any of the eco resins, they usually give you four of these little things free. And this red one is right here, and it doesn't have any black mixed into it. And that, that looks like blood. So... Nobody knows what happened to these young ladies, but they captured a photo right at the moment that they realized they were being transformed into rabbits. And all they found was a pile of clothes and a camera with a black and white photo that showed the surprise on their faces. Ta-da! Comes with the story. <laughs> this is going to need some major cleanup because it didn't go all the way to the top, but that's okay. I don't have to do that right now. Um, what I plan on doing with this, this adorable little picture of girls who used to be girls 
And... Ah, you know, I'm kind of... Oh, <laughs> there's a the little creature looking out from underneath. I don't know what kind of creature it is. It kind of looks like an owl or a dog with glasses on. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we've got little patches of blood. We've got more blood. We've got more blood. Little brain splatter. Got a graveyard thing going on here. And just enough to see that there's a reward for missing. And we don't know if they're missing or if they were last seen and somebody else is missing. <laughs> you think they're bank robbers? This one looks pregnant, doesn't she? But you know, she is a rabbit, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Anyway, happy Halloween. I uh, hope that this is interesting. I like it. Oh, yeah, what was I going to say? I'm going to put a holes, chain, hang. I'm going to put holes in it. I'm going to put some chain in it. I'm going to hang it. After I go through and I really take down some of these rough edges because they're very, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it. Maybe it kind of fits the theme of it. Uh, I think that, um, hold on one second. I want to look at it through the light. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, look, if I hang it in the window. Can you see how this, the light's going through that? Let me try to... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can see me. Hello, hello. Um, you can see that with the light going through it. That looks really cool. It looks so cool. You can see all the paper and the burning. and Oh, I like this a lot. Okay. So hanging up in the window as a warning. I don't know. My brain started going, you, you shall not pass. <laughs> it's a warning. Do not pass. These are my teeth. For reals. From quite a while ago. <laughs> then my bottom teeth. I'm missing more teeth now. <clears throat> These are my top teeth. Ooh. Isn't that funny? <laughs> when I had my teeth... Um, when I had this done, after they did it and after everything was all done, I said, what do you do with those? And he goes, oh, we just get rid of them eventually. And I said, can I please have that? Please, please look at it. My teeth go like this. And because the bottom one is missing, so I have an overbite. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. If you guys have any of these that you know, you see any, send them to me. Send me anything like that. Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I made this little kitty in a pumpkin. It's an earring, made it out of clay. But he's in the um, tooth, tooth gel. That sounds like a new brand of toothpaste, tooth gel. Y'all stay in jail, little kitty. All right, he's in jail. She's in jail. They might be in jail. Oh, Carla. Okay, talking too long. I probably should not do that. Um, I love you guys. And I hope you will watch. I've already watched a couple of the uh, collaborations that came out. And <laughs> I must say, I am very pleased and uh, very, very good. Very, I mean, so far so good. I can't wait to see everybody's because there's all different kinds of artists involved. And yeah, so uh, check out Dragons and Dresses. And it just means badass 
There's a badass woman in a dress. That's what it is, a dragon in a dress. So go check out Dragons and Dresses, April's channel, and um, <clears throat> check out that list. I don't, mine's not on the list. Oh, it will be. I'm just talking in the future, past tense. Who knows? I don't even know. You would think I drink. You would think I'm on drugs. No, I'm just tired. <laughs> just tired. I love you guys so much. Go check it out. I think there's some great ones on there. So, <clears throat> sorry, I know I sound like I swallowed something from this, but I didn't. Just uh, <clears throat> my mono, my, my friendly mono, just visiting, just making me uncomfortable. I am very happy with this and I know, I know, I said, I was saying goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Please, please love everybody. That is so seriously is the whole answer to everything. Compassion, understanding, minding your own business. <laughs> this is how we, this is how we heal our country and our world is by trying to just love everybody without judgment, realizing everybody's on their own path. Everybody here is on their own path. And you may not agree with their path. You may think, I would never do that. Well, that's fine. Don't do it. But let people be people. Let people make their own mistakes. Everybody's on their own life journey here. It's not an easy place to be. We all make mistakes. So just try to have compassion and understanding and an attitude of as long as they're not trying to mess with me, let them do what they want to do. Let them be what they want to be. Everything's going to be okay. And we're not in charge of, of other people's lives, only our own. So, I, that's it. That's it. I just love you so much. I want you to take care of yourselves, please. Please, 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 because you don't know what it's like if you can walk right now and then say in a month you can't walk around the block anymore. You don't know what that's like. It's horrible. You, you're working right now. You've got everything going on. You got your car. You got your place. You got everything going and you get sick. And the rug just gets pulled out from everything you've ever known. You don't know when these things are going to happen to you. So please enjoy the day. And if you are able to do anything, stop complaining and think about somebody that has it worse than you. If, if your back hurts and you can't walk, think about people that are in a bed and can't move. You know, this is how I stay happy is I realize I'm on a path. It's nobody's path but mine. And I... I'm happy because I love everybody. I don't care what you do. I don't care who you love. I don't care what you look like. I don't care about anything except for that you and I are exactly the same. Doesn't mean I'm going to walk up to a crazy person uh, holding a knife or a gun and give them a hug. It just means I try to treat everybody with respect and love for my own heart, for my own sake. That's enough, Carla. All right, sending her off of the soapbox and back to bed. Back to bed with you, Carla. I sound like I'm preaching. I don't know what else to say. Ooh, this is hard. Horror. <laughs>
I can say horrible. I can't say horror. 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 <laughs> horror. 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 I can't. I, I just, I can't get my mouth or my brain to spit that word out. Oh, Carla. It's time to hang up. They, they want to go to bed. They got things to do. They want you to go ahead and leave. They're standing at the doors waving goodbye. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, good. Good to see you. Bye. You got to go. We got to go. You got to go. Please go. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I'll see you soon. I got some um, little prize surprises. For Halloween stuff and I'll show you those in the next video when I do a Halloween video again another one okay bye I love you bye seriously I'm hanging up oh you hang up no you hang up bye <laughs> oh, okay yes I am irritating I know but I love you